Hey guys, this crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to do this video about CZ. I have a love and not so love relationship with CZ. Whenever he attacks um, crypto.com, <laughs> I'm kind of like fighting on the side to defend crypto.com. But at the same time, when he brings the truth out, I have to give the man credit, you know? At the end of the day, he's a great businessman. He's a, a billionaire in the crypto, you know, currency market. So he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. And I got to give it to him, you know. So CZ said, he tweeted, if you bought the deep DIP because of FUD Ford, you should thank them. And I agree with him. If you sold because of it, then unfollow unsubscribe report and block them it makes sense don't keep low quality information source that make you poorer and i am with him a hundred percent that's why i'm telling you our relationship although he doesn't know it is a love and hate relationship i don't hate him but i have to come up and say cz stop spreading fraud on my crypto.com even though sometimes there's a lot of stuff i don't agree with with crypto.com when it comes to the how much they charge us when we sell and when it comes to limited how much we can sell especially on our tonic tectonic i don't agree with everything but at the same time crypto.com is the closest to my heart i really love them that's where i have all my cryptos and and this is where i feel like I'm going to get out of poverty because this is where I invest all my crypto. So I am for crypto.com 100%. But at the same time, I have to support CZ when he says something that makes sense, right? At the same time, I am going to think Mark Moss. I saw one interview he did on CNN and one on uh, is it Kitco News that said that crypto would never have another bull run and as we can see those are complete bull with all the respect because from 15 to 16 thousand now it's at 21 thousand and going to be 22 thousand at the end of the day what i think people should do is be very careful when you're giving your opinion because who are you why do you think you actually know what's gonna happen in the crypto market or in the stock market it just doesn't make sense. You automatically thinking, oh, we wanted to drop at 4,000. Or it will never bust to 20. It will never bust to 30. It's on its way. Mark Moss, thank you for that. I also want to thank James Kramer that asked us to all sell our cryptos. Or sell or, or get rid of your friend, get rid of your cryptos. Again, Mr. Opposite, Mr. Opposite always say something and the opposite happened that's what i call him jim kramer i want to thank you for the fraud you brought on crypto because right now we are doing amazing our portfolio are looking amazing i also want to thank james what is it jamie jamie diamond jamie diamond is another one is a banker a ceo of jp morgan chase that also has a a hard time of understanding crypto not even trying not even trying to understand crypto he compared as a rock something and he said he tell the group on cnbc that they talk too much about crypto jamie jamie diamond i also want to give a full thank you to you because of all the crap all the misunderstanding not trying to understand crypto now crypto is doing amazing who else i would like to thank so many other people i like to thank so far jamie diamond james Kramer, mark moss and that all those i can just remember from the you know my head or something i also want to thank michael sailor michael sailor is a big fan of bitcoin but not a big fan of all coins, meme coins, or dog coins. It just doesn't make any sense. Us, the investors, we are voting for Bitcoin because we know Bitcoin is the king. Once Bitcoin doing amazing, doing well, all coins going to do well. Meme coins going to do well. And um, 
dog coin is gonna do well so that's why we are voting for bitcoin to do amazing but he doesn't see it that way he wants everything else to be eliminated and i have a problem with that so because of that i also want to give michael saylor a big thank right thank you michael saylor peter schiff oh my god the goal guy this guy doesn't want to open like he doesn't have an open minded when it comes to bitcoin the minute he sees Bitcoin, he sees scam, he sees uh, Ponzi scheme. That's why the uh, Jamie Dimon call it is a Ponzi scheme. Listen, all these guys have a reason for me to thank them because of all the four they bring into it. Why not? We are looking amazing. And I thought it should be, we should thank them for making our portfolio looking amazing. Sometimes you don't have to go low with those people and they go low with you. You show them appreciation because without their crazy thought, especially Mr. Opposite, which is Jim Kramer, without his crazy asking us to sell, probably we wouldn't be where we are right now. So we have to thank people who want bad for us end up turning positive. Thank you again to Jamie Diamond, Call Crypto a Ponzi Scheme, Thank you to James Kramer. He want us to sell our crypto and get rid of our crypto, get rid of our friends also, which doesn't make any sense. Thank you to Michael Saylor. Selfishness, he only wants Bitcoin, nothing else. I also want to thank Peter Schiff, the gold guy. Of course, he doesn't want to have nothing to do with crypto, but his son went all the way in on crypto. He should be laughing and smiling right now. Good job, child. You've done a great job. You're not like your father. And did I forget anybody else? No, I think this is it. I think this is it. Michael Saylor, Jamie Diamond, James Kramer, and um, Peter Schiff. And um, I think I said everybody. If I forget anybody, guys, please remind me because those people... Oh, Mark Moss, come on. Mark Moss said there will never be another bull run for crypto or Bitcoin again. And we have proven it to not be true. Thank you so much. And let me know what you think, guys. You don't have to work so hard. I am there watching the news for you, reading the news for you. Do my own research and bring you the latest. And thank those who doesn't want us to be out of poverty, who want us to stay there to beg them for a penny, beg them for a job. That's why we are taking action on our hands and then invest and do something about it so we can get out of poverty. So we have to thank the ones who, of course, don't want us to get there. Thank you, Jamie Diamonds. Once crypto taken off, it won't be business as usual for you. And the banking system, it won't be business as usual. And we love in the freedom of it. Bye, Mark Boss. You said there will never be another bull run. I cannot prove you wrong, my friend. But although you're a good looking guy, but damn, I didn't like how you dish Bitcoin. Good night, darling. Goodbye to all the people who wished us wrong, bad. And now we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's okay. If everything goes down again, it's all right. By now, we should be used to it. Anything that goes up shall go down. And we are already mentally physical to deal with the breakout. It's all right. Good night, y'all. Yeah.